Now, every little shop, of course, adds a little piece that it can put towards the uh, international violin competition. So, in your mind, what did you want to achieve with the competition? What What did you think had to happen? Well, the main the main thing is really is to create an awareness once again in New Zealand and Australia and the, the world really that there is more to life than just sport and, and television and computers, and that uh, it's the finer things. And it is working. There is a, a definite awareness. I mean, even in, in this my little hometown here in Queenstown, there's certainly quite a significant awareness of music. There's some young people in the audience and it tweaks them at an early age. And the thing is, it's in the subconscious and it, it's something that once they've experienced, they think, hey, this is a pretty cool thing to do. And uh, it's just that no one's exposed to, to things like the violin or the piano anymore. And uh, so really that is my aim, that we make an awareness of music because we do live in the most beautiful country on the earth. We're now, so lucky. For our viewers, some facts and figures. Yes. Every two years, it's every two years, mm. you invite 18 young up and coming, they are going to be professional musicians for the remainder of their lives, hopefully. Uh, you invite them to New Zealand. Are they keen to get here or is it just another one on the circuit? Oh, well, it's absolutely wonderful. Um, of course, those 18 are all in, in the finals. So before that, there's, there's, um, there's another, 100 another, or so. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, but they've won the, 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 the opportunity to come to New Zealand. But watching them just arrive here in New Zealand, I mean, and they get off the plane and you see the remarkables, which look truly remarkable. Um, and this, this amazing, pure New Zealand, I mean, it, it's just uh, it's amazing. And the, the wonderful thing about it is that they have host families as well that look after them. And uh, that makes, uh, they, they taste a little bit of New Zealand Kiwi life and uh, they love it. And it's also great for music. I, I think we're, we're pulling a depth of music out of these, these wonderful, talented people that is possibly bringing the best out of them because what we've heard is just been Truly is some amazing inspirational people. What's going through your mind as you're watching oh, this? Oh, well, it it's always never ceases to surprise me. You know, you, you, you look at someone and you think, well, possibly that one's not as good as the one before, but then suddenly they come up with a, a passage or a part of the piece that is just truly unbelievable. And uh, each one of these people has the potential. The, the difference between the one that will win and the one that doesn't win will be actually the nerves or being able to uh, be confident enough with one's inner self that you can uh, let it go. And I think that that is the, the difference. Uh, if, if one's necktop computer is, is telling you that uh, I'm a little nervous about this or I'm a bit cautious, it doesn't work. So it's, it's like playing life safe. One needs to give it absolutely everything and just let it go. And uh, we've got everything in here. Um, and they've got all the armory as well, but uh, sometimes it's held back. <laughs> The, uh, the feedback is that this is a, a remarkably different competition than anything else that's been experienced. First, there's no politics here. We're very open. Everything's a pure playing field, like the country. Um, and also the experience is, is one of utter delight uh, of being hosted and looked after. I mean, generally speaking, they don't even speak with the judges uh, or a benefactor like myself would never even uh, communicate with them. Uh, that's totally different here. We're in communication all the while. Uh, we give advice, we help, whatever we can do. And uh, they go back and advertise New Zealand in particular and say what a great place it is. And we've had people come back and back. I and mean, we've got Bella coming to play back again. I mean, they, they, everyone comes back again and loves the place. And the, the people that have built them make great friendships. And uh, some of those friendships last forever. So how does it rate in the world, this particular compost? Uh, well, it's getting right up there. And uh, I mean, it takes time like anything, but it's now recognized as one of the great competitions of the world. And I, we will keep going until we 
not make just the great competition <laughs> until it is the greatest, and, and then, we've, yeah. then, then I'll be happy. <laughs> now, uh, what is wonderful about it is that um, you've, you've done well out of the jewellery business, and of course, uh, you don't have to do this, but it is, there is a great philosophy in life that you're, a lot of this is coming out of your own pocket, so it's always good to give, isn't it? it to give to other people, people coming through. What's your philosophy on that? Well, it might come as a surprise, but giving back is one of the most amazing experiences. And when you give back, you get back twice as much. And seeing all these young people and, and supporting them, it's a hell of a career playing in the violin. I mean, it's, this is literally the Olympics of violin playing. And to pursue that as a career is an amazingly dedicated thing to do. And it takes a lot of guts to do it. And if we can support them, and then you see them, and it gives me a tear in the eye, it's absolutely bloody marvellous. This is a baby boomer chat show, and all us baby boomers grew up hearing Michael Hill on television. Could we have it just that one more time? We, we could, yes. Hello, Michael Hill jeweler. Gold, gold, silver, silver, <laughs> chain, chain, sale, sale, gold, gold, silver, silver, chain, chain, sale, sale. Michael Hill jeweler. Wonderful. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Michael.